OK, fantastic. 737. Let's begin. Uh, <clears throat> good evening, fellow commissioners and the general public. My name is Michael Champness. I'm the chair of the Transportation Advisory Commission. Before we begin, please note that this meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded to the county website and on YouTube. <clears throat> to conduct this meeting wholly electronically and to effectuate both the emergency procedures authorized by new state legislation and FOIA, the Transportation Advisory Commission needs to make certain findings and determinations for the record. A bit cumbersome, so I ask you in advance for your patience. First, because each member of this commission is participating in this meeting from a separate location, we must verify that a quorum of members is participating and that each member's voice is clear, audible, and at an appropriate volume for all of the other members. I ask that each of you pay close attention to ensure that you can hear each of your colleagues. Um, asking each commission member participating in this meeting to state your name and location from where you're participating when I mention your name. Uh, at large, Linda Sperling. I am present and I am participating from beautiful Clifton, Virginia. OK, um, Braddock District, Kevin Morris. From Burke. OK, Trainsville District, uh, um, I'm here uh, participating from uh, Detroit, Michigan. Um, Hunter Mill District, Felicia Woods. Hi, I'm here participating from Herndon. OK, thank you very much. Uh, Mason District, Roger Hoskin. Have you joined us, Roger? We'll come back later. Uh, Mount Vernon District, I believe we're still vacant there. Um, has there been a, a Mount Vernon District commissioner uh, nominated yet? I don't think so. All right. Not yet. So, not yet. OK, I didn't think so, but that also means you need one less for a quorum, although we're good anyway. Franconia District, uh, Matt Bichek. Yes, um, I'm present. I'm here in Alexandria. OK, thank you, Matt. Welcome. Providence District, Jeremy Hancock. Jeremy Hancock, I am in Orange County, California. OK, uh, Springfield District, Eric Thiel. Hi, here in uh, Fairfax Station, Virginia. And I'll uh, be off video some of the time because Someone, <clears throat> perhaps my spouse, stole my uh, <laughs> iPad mount, and so no one wants to look up my nose for the whole meeting, so I'm going to mute the video. Thank you for having uh, uh, mercy upon us. We appreciate it. Um, Sully District, uh, David Skiles. Okay. Um, Fairfax Area Disability Services Board, uh, Christy Garden. Christy, I think I see a circle with your name on it. Are you here with us? We can come back there. Roger, I see that you're uh, with us now. Can you uh, uh, can you hear us? Roger, can you hear us? Com check. OK, um, well, we can't hear Roger or Roger. I can't tell if you can hear us. So um, let's go back to um, Christy Garden. Christy, can you can you hear us? Right. She just well, fell off the screen, too. Yeah, OK, well, I, I, I suspect I'd like everyone to you know, give everyone your hand if you want to weigh in on what I've just said. Christy? Yes, hello. Hey, hello, hello. Um, sounds like you're here. You are here, Christy. Uh, uh, I am, yeah. Just, fantastic. Issue. Yeah. Uh, I understand. Glad you can overcome it. Uh, and uh, we have to ask where you're calling in from. Uh, yes, uh, McLean, Drainsville. Okay, sounds good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yes, we have, uh, 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 looks like nine, ten commissioners. We're, we're good. For, uh, for a quorum this evening. So uh, carrying on with the uh, uh, the opening, at this point I will pass the virtual gavel to uh, Commissioner Morse um, so that I may her to the re make the requisite motions. Thank you, I accept the uh, virtual uh, gavel. I now uh, recognize the chairman. Thank you very much. I move that we have determined that each member's voice can be adequately heard and that each member of the commission, by each other member of the commission, it is so moved. You've heard the motion. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by. Eric. Eric, thank you. Um, is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. Aye. Any uh, nays or abstentions? Uh, hearing none, the uh, motion carried unanimously. Thank you. Um, and next move that the state of emergency caused by the COVID-19 pandemic makes it unsafe for this commission to physically assemble and unsafe for the public to physically attend any such meeting. Further move that this commission may conduct this meeting electronically through a dedicated audio conferencing line and that the public may access this meeting by the Microsoft Teams online platform over calling 1-571-429-5982 and entering the phone conference ID. The phone number for ADA is 711. Access information is also available at the TAC website on the Fairfax County website. Uh, it is so moved. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Teal. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any abstentions or uh, uh, opposition? Hearing none, the motion's uh, carried unanimously. Thank you. Finally, I move that all of the matters on this agenda previously furnished and posted on the TAC website are necessary for continuity in Fairfax County government and or are statutorily required or necessary to continue operations in the discharge of the commission's lawful purposes, duties, and responsibilities. It is so moved. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Seconded by uh, Commissioner Teal. Uh, any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any, aye. any uh, abstentions or opposition? Hearing none, the uh, motion is carried unanimously. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We will now proceed with the uh, uh, commission business for the, uh, the agenda. Um, uh, I have no uh, uh, remarks to uh, uh, open uh, the meeting. Um, saves remarks for the conversation and also at the uh, at the end. Would like to welcome uh, public and guests. Um, and I do see a couple of guests, it looks like. I see uh, 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 Amanda and uh, Mike Pearl, and there's an unknown. If you're here as a guest, welcome. If you could please identify yourself, we'd uh, very much appreciate it. Hi, hi this is Mike Pearl. I'm here. Um, representing uh, the Commission on Aging. I'm the, the Braddock District represented to that, and they were interested in hearing what your commission is up to that may be related to the older adults in the area and transportation okay. issues. Well, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it very much. Welcome. Glad you could join us. Um, others, please. I think there's one or two more, but... Uh, uh, Is uh, Amanda? I see your I see a name here. Uh, hi, good evening. My name is Amanda Breen. I'm a resident of the East Greensville area and just uh, an interested uh, resident, interested in uh, listening to one of your meetings. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. Appreciate you joining us. Okay, is there anybody else who is a, a, not a commission member or Fairfax County staff member who has not yet identified themselves? I think that's everybody. Okay, well, thanks very much and welcome and uh, uh, please you could join us. Um, now I'd like to move on to the acceptance of the previous meeting minutes. Um, Calvin has sent out uh, two meeting minutes for approval. Uh, we were not able to approve the November meeting minutes in December because we did not have a quorum. We do this evening. So what I'd like to do is first uh, take action on the November meeting minutes. Um, and would be pleased to uh, entertain a motion to approve the November meeting minutes um, as provided. Um, is there any such motion? I'll, I'll move uh, we approve those minutes. Okay, is there a second? Second. Uh, thank you, Jeremy. This has been moved and seconded that we uh, approve the November meeting minutes as provided. Um, is there any discussion on the motion? Okay, hearing none, then let's uh, uh, proceed to uh, uh, to the minutes, the approval of the minutes. All those in favor of approving the uh, meeting minutes as provided uh, by Calvin, uh, signify by saying aye. 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 All, those, 
Oh, fantastic. All those opposed say nay. Um, are there any abstentions? I will abstain because I did not attend the November meeting. Um, so, OK, so it's unanimous. And for the yes. record, I uh, I think I missed it on the script, but I've returned the virtual gavel to you. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Appreciate oh. that. OK. Uh, it's getting too heavy for me to hold. The responsibilities <laughs> are weighty, that's for sure. Um, OK, well, uh, uh, thank you, uh, fellow commissioners. We've approved the November meeting minutes. So let's move on to December. Um, so I would be pleased to entertain a motion to approve the uh, uh, the December uh, meeting minutes. Um, is there anybody who would like to make such a motion? Uh, I move approval of the uh, December meeting minutes. Thank you very much. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Jeremy. It has now been moved and seconded to approve the December meeting minutes. Um, uh, is there any discussion on the motion? I just know, Calvin, yes. there may be a spacing or something. I, I read them very quickly and I, I may send that to you after the meeting, but uh, it would only be technical. Thank you. Sounds good. And 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 uh, while I did not state implied, we uh, um, uh, are uh, uh, with the approval. We are authorized to make technical and conforming changes, i.e., uh, you know, grammatical edits, uh, without changing any of the substance of the of the meeting minutes. So thank you, Kevin, for pointing that out. Um, any other comments, uh, discussion on the December meeting minutes? Okay. Hearing none, uh, let me uh, ask the vote, please. All in favor of approving the December meeting minutes, please uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, please say no. Any abstentions? Uh, the meeting minutes are approved uh, unanimously. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, we are uh, completed with that portion of the business. Um, now I would like to uh, uh, move on to the uh, uh, selection of the TAC 2022 uh, Transportation Achievement Award. I um, uh, would like to thank uh, uh, Commissioner Hancock, uh, Commissioner Garden, Commissioner Hoskin for serving on the uh, the committee. Uh, understand there was uh, uh, some uh, uh, exchanges uh, so about the uh, uh, about the the recommendation there. Um, a meeting was not held, but there was uh, uh, electronic conversation within the bounds of acceptable electronic communication, i.e. no more than two commissioners at one time communicating. So with that, allow me to turn it over to uh, 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 subcommittee chair uh, Hancock. Chair, if you could please uh, let us know how it went and uh, what happened and and how you'd like to proceed. So to you, Jeremy. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> we had uh, myself, Roger and uh, Christine were on the subcommittee. We had two nominations. Um, there was not um consensus on those two nominations they are both very i think worthy of the tac award and so um i'm putting for a recommendation on behalf of the subcommittee i think the subcommittee is is comfortable with that recommendation but i'm going to suggest that we go into an executive session since one of the nominees is an is an individual um and i i don't think we want to have that discussion that's um that's public and recorded. Uh, appreciate that, Jeremy. As we discussed, uh, certainly have no uh, objections to going into an uh, executive session. Um, I'm now looking for the procedures to do that. Calvin, I think there's some uh, 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 holy water we need to sort of spread on, sprinkle on this. Uh, I'm looking now for the procedures. Um, I do not have access to my home email so i don't know if you, you'd sent it there um did, did but, it have to be uh, read by i can i'm happy to read the motion okay please, please go ahead and do so please go ahead and do okay. so <clears throat> move that the transportation advisory commission go into closed session pursuant to virginia code section 2.3-313711 a11 for the purpose of discussion and consideration of a special award the subject matter to be discussed and considered is the annual transportation achievement award the award recognizes the outstanding performance by a Fairfax County employee who, through exceptional performance, has made contributions which advance or support the objectives of the county transportation plan. The award also recognizes the original contribution made by an employee toward enhancing 
the quality of transportation in Fairfax County. Uh, Mr. Chair, can I raise a, a point first? Uh, if we do that, I assume in order to go into executive session, we have to kick out two of the guests. They'd have to wait, not knowing when we're coming out of executive session. I just wonder if we should do this at the end of the meeting. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, uh, we so rarely have guests. So you uh, forget about that. So thanks for the, the reminder there. Uh, Jeremy, I know that you have uh, uh, a hard stop. Uh, no, I'm evening. good. I, I cleared it, so I'm, okay. I'm good to stay. I, I agree with Kevin. That makes the most sense for us to defer this okay. to the end. Um, yes, uh, good point, Kevin. Uh, uh, good catch. Good catch. Um, and so, uh, yes, let's let's defer the uh, moving into executive session till later on in the uh, uh, in the conversation. So with that, let's move that conversation aside. And now, um, the moving on to preparations for the joint meeting with the uh, uh, Board of Supervisors. Um, you know, as we discussed in our last meeting, um, we did have the uh, the presentation on the uh, um, alternate measures of effectiveness. Um, I thought it was a very uh, interesting conversation. It was, uh, it was fantastic to be able to have uh, Tom Bitsani with us and, of course, uh, uh, Rachel Flynn as well, Deputy County Executive. Um, and uh, I think that the discussion of the topic is, uh, and, and for us to have a joint session with the Board of Supervisors on this is at a, uh, at a good time. Um, it is something where uh, as the county tries to balance various modes of transportation, uh, it's important to have measures that um, better reflect what it is you're trying to achieve. Uh, there'll always be cars in Fairfax County, um, and uh, measures uh, measuring the throughput of cars will always be of of, uh, of importance. But uh, there are uh, locations or situations where we want to look at at more than just that. Um, and so, uh, uh, you know, when we talked at the at the last meeting, and I did want to talk a little bit about this uh, with with us here, is um, uh, ways to uh, uh, sort of frame the conversation a little bit. I do have some uh, some some thoughts there. But just a little bit more context before uh, going into that uh, that part of the conversation. Um, I did reach out to uh, 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 oh God. <sighs> yeah, when the Alzheimer's kicks in in public, it is embarrassing. Just um, breathe in some of that Michigan fresh air. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, no, the uh, um, now I'm getting angry at myself. Um, which only makes it worse. Um, uh, the chair of the board transportation committee. Uh, Alcorn? Uh, yes. Commissioner Al yes. Alcorn. Commissioner Alcorn. Well, you know, it's now recorded for error and posterity that I couldn't remember his name. I'm humiliated, embarrassed, but oh well, I'll just have to try and recover. Just um, avoid him if you go to the chairman's reception on Friday. Which unfortunately, I can't make because I have another commitment. But uh. ah, uh, well, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I'll wear a I'll wear a, a mask and glasses so he can't <laughs> recognize me. Um, but no, uh, apologies there. Um, uh, reach out to uh, Chairman Alcorn to talk about uh, uh, when uh, when to reschedule um, uh, the soonest uh, potential opportunity. And and really, we are, we are too late for this. Um, could have been uh, January 24th because that's the next time the board is is meeting. Um, so I'm not sure when the next board meeting is, uh, perhaps in, in February. But one of the things that uh, um, uh, that may happen <laughs> is uh, uh, because the Board of Transportation Committee is really the Board of Supervisors, just with a different leadership structure, it is not impossible or inconceivable that we might meet with uh, with that group. So we will, you know, we will see. Um, so we do not at this moment have a scheduled meeting with the Board of Supervisors. Um, but one of the things that we, we and we didn't talk, but back to, sorry, back to the to the uh, substance at hand of what the conversation uh, could look like. Um, the alternate measures of effectiveness is still pretty early. Uh, Mr. Severson gave a very good presentation uh, last month about the uh, um, 
uh, where they are in the process, uh, some of the things that they're trying to juggle there. And um, as I say, I think the timing of bringing this jointly between the board and the TAC is, is, is well placed. But I think one of the important questions are, so how you use it? Um, and one of the things that I would like to uh, talk about a little bit, and, I, and, I, and would like the conversation to go sort of, you know, where it needs to, and, and certainly uh, um, interested in, of course, the views of commissioners, but um, where do you start? How do you start? How do you apply it? And it's pretty obvious to say it won't apply equally in all areas. And this is actually consistent with some things that we put in with our, uh, with our work plan, talking about, um, you know, how different parts of the county, different situation, different locations in the county will obviously have different issues, different things they're trying to juggle, different priorities. And so rather than just sort of say AMOE, AMOE is, would like to try and talk about some of the, some of the applications, some of the balancing and things like that. So, um, you know, uh, the, the FC dot, will be reaching out, uh, of course, as they should, and they will to uh, uh, to commission to uh, uh, supervisors to talk to them about uh, um, you know the the measures there. Um, uh, what would uh, like to do, I think, is have a bit more of a uh, uh, a deeper dive, perhaps a little bit deeper dive into uh, what some of these measures might be, what some of the factors are that need to be uh, uh, weighed and measured as you try and figure out how to use them. Um, Clearly, as I've just mentioned, uh, uh, and I, uh, there's going to be different views. The, the, the views of supervisors can help it be and should be and will be influenced by the magisterial district they're in. So depending on what district that is, your goals of AMOE could be, you know, could be different. So the, goal, the idea here would be sort of to, to level set a little bit um, and uh, uh, try and talk more about how this can be applied. Now, I don't have any preconceived notions on, on how to do that. Um, uh, I do think it's something we want to, uh, 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 we can discuss more certainly, you know, inside the TAC uh, um, and, and going forward here. But that's, that's, that's where we're at right at the, right at the moment there. Um, I think the soonest we'll be able to do our joint meeting is sometime in February. Um, and uh, um, I told uh, Mr. Alcorn that we'd be having this conversation this evening and we'll, we'll catch up with him later. Uh, and get his views, of course, because obviously, as the chair of the TAC and a uh, you know, uh, and the the chair of the board transportation committee, um, you know, obviously his views are very important as to how we how we get this structured and how we get it set up. So that's what I wanted to uh, uh, you know lay out on the uh, the table right now and uh, uh, open up for conversation, see if there's uh, other views and opinions and and things like that. On a technical point, don't yep. try not to get scheduled for a BOS meeting. We, you know, those are marathons. You, at best, what are they going to give you? A two-hour window when to show up? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I, I try to keep it to the the BTC meeting if you can. Okay, that's a good point. And every time we've even met with the BTC, it's been uh, you know sort of squeezed in. And when we've done our presentations and awards and the board of supervisors, uh, even being sort of right at the beginning, it's right. been a while since we've come up. Yeah. You are correct. You're correct. So I appreciate that, Kevin. Good, good reminder again. Okay. Any uh, any thoughts here? Um, you know, uh, I will also say uh, that one of the other things that uh, um, uh, Supervisor Alcorn has already talked about is there will be an opportunity for supervisors and commissioners to talk about priorities of their own. So I don't expect us to have too much time. Not sure how much time we're going to have, um, but you know, with a number of uh, uh, commissioners and supervisors, that could take all the time itself. So you know, uh, we may try and uh, uh, keep those to a minimum, but also we we recognize that these are not uh, these these meetings do not happen all the time. We want to be able to take uh, you know good good advantage of them. Well, I, you know, I'll, I'll just uh, start off with a couple of things and, and turn it back to you. But as I, I think I brought up last time, you know, I still have the concern as to uh, the necessity of this. I mean, it was an excellent presentation, uh, but projects are difficult. Projects are difficult to get off the ground and they're and they're and they're complex. And it, it just seems to me that. Um, alternative transportation modes 
are considered uh, without exception. You don't you don't start look to fund a project in Fairfax County without looking at the uh, bicycle trails, um, any other pedestrian uh, enhancements. I just don't think it's done. Mm-hmm. And with that, I mean, it's to me, it's like it would be almost be in the project manager's manual. So it, again, my concern is, um, are we just adding another layer of bureaucracy uh, to make it even more difficult to get a project off the ground? That's that's a good point. Uh, I recall, of course, you raising it in the last meeting. And actually, let me build on that and suggest that in some way, maybe directly, maybe less directly, whatever, um, it's a factor that needs to be uh, needs to be weighed. Uh, I don't think that the the board is consciously trying to set up a process that's going to take more time, although they recognize that you look at other things, it could, it could take more time. But um, we 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 don't want to have these alternative measures just completely gum things up. So how do you add these additional measures and try to add additional factors without you know, uh, completely, uh, completely slowing everything down. I think that's, you know, a key operational question uh, because I don't think it's all, uh, uh, they certainly, the board has certainly uh, appears, uh, 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 there looks like they're planning to add this as, as a measure. Now, you know, we don't want to presume what the board is going to do and they're looking at the alternative measures, so we don't know which ones they might adopt, even which ones are going to be presented, things like that. But I think that's something that we can perhaps try and help uh, advise with. You know, how, how, how do we suggest, and I know we don't have something tangible to talk about at the moment, but how might we, the tax, suggest taking this into account uh, in a controlled manner? Um, and I think one thing, Kevin, that we might be able to uh, talk about in, uh, is the uh, um, certain areas are not, uh, you know, uh, you know, we have bike paths by I-66. I'm not sure how many bikes are going to be on there, but but they're certainly they're there. But there are areas of the county where certain forms of transportation, uh, because of uh, you know legacies, are not practical. Um, you know, um, are we really trying to measure every mode in every situation, every part of the county? That I think would absolutely clog things up. Um, so where are there? locations or where are the locations where you can uh, uh, not look at certain modes. Um, Those can be contentious discussions themselves, but I think that's the kind of policy uh, discussion the board would want to have because you either say you don't have a, you don't have any of these alternative means anywhere or you've got them everywhere. and, And I think the answer is in the middle. So what's the middle? What does that look like? And how do we find that middle? And put it together in a way that's that's uh, that's effective and 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 informative for good decisions by the board. Okay. Um, I have a yes, different perspective sure, yeah. than than Kevin on that, but I also view it as um, I mean they're they're measuring level of service and determining level of service today for projects, and so. I think the other perspective is that the county has more flexibility on what a good level of service means, considering not just cars moving through an intersection, for example, but also balancing other types of um, transportation and and multimodal transportation. I guess back to the <coughs> excuse me the um, the BTS. Um, I got you know I, I how much flexibility. Do we have here on suggesting what we're going to, discussion we're going to be a part of? I think the level of service is fine if that's what the board wants to focus their time on. I think we want to be part of that discussion. So I think it's that whatever that issue is plus our um, our work plan, right? It sounds like perhaps you know whatever additional items for what those priorities are. But I think you know just from the two, it's whatever the board wants to have that discussion with us, and then our work plan is that. Well, um, we have a we, conversation with the chairman Alcorn. Yes, uh, and, and actually, it was back in September um, yeah. about the the topic, and and actually, it's the level of service 
uh, legacy measure that they're trying to add to with alternate measures of effectiveness instead of mm -hmm. just level of service. So right. um, yes, the uh, uh, Mr. Elkhorn does, uh, you know, is looking forward to having that conversation with us. But actually, Jeremy, that is um, uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about the 2023 work plan this evening. Um, one, it's already 2023, um, uh, you know, and we should sort of see where we stand from the 2022 work plan. But absolutely, if there are work plan topics that we think we want to raise, even if to plant a seed for later, um, uh, you know, we can, you know, we can certainly do that. One thing I'll uh, I'll mention, um, and uh, uh, Calvin, I'll ask you to uh, uh, send out the uh, the article. Uh, uh, is there was a uh, uh, an editorial in the Washington Post recently, and talked about um, cities, and it said cities, but I think Fairfax qualifies by the topic of the the editorial. Should be thinking about. Um, what their places look like in a post-pandemic world where there's a lot more teleworking, and that's the situation we're in. Um, and you know, are there steps that should be taken to, uh, uh, you know, keep, uh, you know, the, the tax base? Um, you know, uh, we've talked uh, uh, about a little bit. We've seen, you know, anecdotally in our own lives, people that have that have moved. And look here. You know, we've got two commissioners that are participating remotely that, you know, three years ago, uh, we would not have been able to attend this evening's meeting. And here we are. A small thing, but but obviously very lush. We've, we've seen it. So what's the effect on, you know, the uh, economic development strategy, et cetera, develop, economic development strategy, et cetera, of, you know, increased telework? Um, you know, that's on our work plan. Um, I'll admit that's the area that's in my, you know, in my area. And, and so I've not brought somebody in to talk about that and, and maybe we should. And again, we'll talk about the work plan here in, in just a little bit. Um, but yes, uh, we can go back and, and, and look at those, uh, uh, those work plan topics. And in fact, we did do that when we we're talking about, uh, you know, alternate measures of effectiveness um, as, you know, part of the, uh, you know, street design, uh, road design, you know, at, uh, the, uh, 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 I think the uh, future road design parameters, complete streets and things like that. So, you know, uh, we've identified most of the big issues. Um, what we really need to do is is perhaps decide on, you know, areas we want to focus on, which we, you know, did do in the work plan. We've done a little bit of that, um, but I don't think we've made as much progress as we would like, but there's always that. So the question is now, as we come into 2023, what we'd like to do, and so and 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 with you know three new commissioners um, uh, here with us, uh, uh, you know who that have joined us here this evening, um, you know I think that's uh, that's uh, you know very very timely because um, you know want to hear their voices, um, how they think about the work plan, uh, you know other things you might want to add, and and all that kind of stuff. Well, remember what Rachel said in last month's meeting about us being the, uh, the big picture people. Mm -hmm. We're not, can you hear me? I guess you can. Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, you know, we got a lot of engineers and analysts and people working FCDLT that deal with the details, but we're supposed to be looking at things from an overview. Where is the county going or where do we want it to go? And I think this AMOE, is kind of a stab at that because remember what he said last week they're going to come up with some kind of a calculus that allows us to this was a little scary steer particular areas in certain directions and uh, mike you talked about the legacy areas and we all know where those are that's great falls but they're two and five acre minimum you're not going to run buses out there so that particular area is going to remain rather car centric. Meanwhile, in Tyson's Corners, you're going to try to somehow limit the use of private automobiles and move to something else, probably transit, circulator buses, whatever they come up with. And so they weigh this calculus depending on that. Well, now the question is, who comes up with the weights? 
and Eric pointed this out in the last meeting, Eric, and we where I want it, 10% or 5% or 2%. And if somebody rates it at zero, the whole thing goes to zero. Uh, that, and I think maybe we ought to wait and see how Mr. Steverson answers this question or tries to answer this question. Uh, I see it becoming a kind of a political football. Uh, I don't know if any of you were followed the Arlington supervisors race this fall. I did a little bit because I live so close to them. They had three candidates. One was the supervisor who got elected, who was the incumbent. And of course, he's a Democrat. And he's going to get elected because there isn't any place in this country that's more blue than Arlington. But you had two other candidates whose particular position on zoning and housing was quite diametrically opposed. And they raised the issue in Arlington, at least, of the missing middle. Now, I suspect since we're probably going to have a new supervisor here in Mason next year, because Penny's not, Penny's not going to run, is this issue is going to come up here in Mason. Uh, it has to do with housing and legacy and affordable housing and more housing and that's going to affect transportation so that's where my head is right at the minute it may not be where yours is and i think pete if he were still here would understand that because he's in the same situation or a similar situation and this thing's bubbling up on the back burner and it's going to boil over this is felicia i um I very much so agree with Roger and his sentiments about where this conversation goes. Um, I'm very much so new to the to this to this group, but I'm not new to the issue of equity. It's something that I work on daily in my um, in, in my job uh, working in the cancer space. But I think equity goes can be found in in various spaces. And here, when it comes to transportation when it comes to housing and also as we look at you know the idea of teleworking and who has the who is afforded the ability to telework a lot of people who work you know gig jobs live in housing areas that don't have immediate access to transportation and it's something that we truly have to consider as we move towards a society that's not really um, leaning on cars but looking at other ways to get around and I feel like the equity component has to be, you know, very much so incorporated in how we use these AMOE, this AMOE, because it could essentially become very uh, subjective in how people decide to um, make changes in their in their various communities. So I would, you know, echo what Roger said and just add on that that this is all intricate and equity is a, a centerpiece that we very much so should be focused on. Thank you, Felicia. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, um, the ray. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. And and in fact, uh, you know, I think we. You're right, Roger. We are uh, you know big picture, but I think we need to be aware of sort of how things are happening to be able to make sure that our recommendations are well grounded. You know, we're not going to be. Uh, uh, I could see us having conversations about some of the measures, but we are not going to be designing the measures with the board when we meet with them. That is Greg Steverson and the, and the NFC dot, and they've got some work there and we wish them luck and we, we're, we'll do everything we can to help them. I think our big picture item here is about sort of the, those applications and Felicia, yes, equity and other considerations. How do you decide where to apply them, where not to? Um, we're, there are no easy, it's been a long time since there's ever been easy answers, if there's ever been easy answers. Um, but now uh, we have a lot of factors that we're trying to weigh for a lot of things. You know, is there anything, any advice we can provide to uh, um, streamline um, or prioritize, um, you know, some of these new measures, some of these new factors? so that we can get the most important piece of those. Um, because if we try and get everything, well, I'll say it's easy to say, oh, we'll get nothing. 
that means is you will just, you know, everything will sort of clog up because you're trying to process too much. Um, if your hair is tangled, you know, you need a brush and then you can maybe comb it. Um, and so our hair is kind of tangled here in this kind of area. So we're going to have to brush things through and then, you know, maybe try and uh, pick an area and you can't brush all your hair at once. You got to start somewhere. So where do we start? And I think those are the kind of things that uh, we can think about and perhaps try and advise the Board of Supervisors on and, and the opportunity here to have a conversation with them and learn with them some of these early uh, 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 insights from AMOE, I think helps us be in their head a little bit, uh, both in terms of the individual supervisors that we're you know, representing here, but also some of the interplay and the dynamics that they're, that they're facing. Uh, we have to be you know, mindful of those. Well, Felicia wasn't here last year when we came up with the 2022 work plan. Uh, but one of the things that you, Michael, kind of zoomed around on this was that we have areas of particular interest where we become, well, maybe not real experts, but we have a little more knowledge than others. And this is where we can kind of allow individuals to explore their interests and maybe shine a little bit. And maybe the supervisors want us to be bomb throwers. Because <laughs> if we do that, then they can always say, well, those are those pinheads, the, you know, the blue sky people over at the TAC, you know, just let them go off in the corner and play with themselves. That way, if it bombs, they have plausible deniability. If it gets legs and takes off, they, look, it's these TAC people, man, we got the most brilliant citizens on that. Look at these brainy ideas they came up with, and we wholeheartedly endorse it. And I, some of my friends are for the issue, and some of my friends are against the issue, but I want to make it perfectly clear I'm for my friends. I mean, <laughs> typical politician double speak. But that you did that, and it was right. Well, we, we appreciate it, Roger. We, we yeah. absolutely can be a, a sounding board, um, a, a, a place for trial balloons and things like that. Um, we can have outreach and meetings and that's on the work plan as well too um you know i think that uh um you know and, and i'll just i'll jump ahead to the work plan a little bit then i do want to talk about the work plan you know one of our uh, primary focus area uh, the two commissioners that uh that was in their interest items that they wanted to work on are two of the commissioners that are they're not here with us now so you know the, you got leaves fired. I don't know about getting fired. I, I, I'll make no judgments, but uh, uh, they're not here with us now. Um, and so uh, there's an opportunity for rearrangement. There's an opportunity for new commissioners to uh, uh, to get involved in those areas. Um, and, you know, each, each, not every day, every meeting, uh, but but we should be, you know, re-energizing re ourselves a little bit there um, because we absolutely can uh, test out some things and ask some questions that would be difficult for board members to ask. Um, and so, not but the, uh, not that not that they're shy. The Washington Post. That's right. Yeah, you know, not that they're shy. I mean, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Um, we, and we all know what the county's priorities are. We've gone over it and over it and over it. And we've danced mm -hmm. around it. Uh, as one of my professors say, "Stop beating around the bush and beat in the bush." So, I think we ought to try. We have, on occasion, tried. Uh, probably with more success than we're entitled to, but it just worked. Maybe I'll do more of that. Well, I tell you what, I think we're sort of segueing into the work plan a little bit. Um, and uh, there's nothing tangible this moment on the uh, the AMOE or the uh, the joint meeting yet. I think that we can sort of do more planning. We We will come back and we will have sometime built in the schedule so that we'll get a chance to talk as a, a as as tech commissioners before we go forward here um but if i could uh turn to the work plan for a uh you know just just a moment here um i did go ahead and send out um with caveats as you noticed uh, please don't uh, communicate amongst yourself and i didn't see anybody do that nobody reached out to me so that's good i sent a copy of the work plan that we uh, uh, uh approved as the uh um Unbelievable. <laughs> My computer wants to restart in an hour. Yeah. So I guess we have to get finished in an hour. <sighs> All right. I hate, I hate this. Hit. For your computer. There we go. That's right. That's right. So, okay. We've got uh, just a little bit of time here. So, um, anyway, um, 
the uh, um, uh, the uh, um, the the work plan is what we approved uh, as the TAC in preparation for the presentation of the Board of Supervisors on March the first. Um, has some guiding principles there. Um, uh, review for those who have been here before. Uh, 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 explanation for our, for our new commissioners. Um, holistic approach. We try and look at the big picture. Recognize that the different complexion of issues are different between districts across demographics, varying economic means. Uh, there's no one size fits all solution. Uh, we're trying to uh, integrate these things with economic development strategies, land use plans, equity, environmental considerations. So those are the things we're trying to uh, balance at that that you know 50,000 foot level. Um, Pre-COVID assumptions in a post-COVID environment, and teleworking is a key one. Obviously, not the only one, but it's a big one. Um, Solicit involvement from citizens, advisory groups, other outside stakeholders, um, based on the issues being addressed. Um, or in the case of this evening, a couple of folks that uh, wanted to join us. And again, thanks for uh, thanks for coming. Um, our commission, our, our super, uh, uh, members of the board of supervisors, in fact, the chair, has said that he desires Fairfax to be a test bed for new transportation technologies. Um, so there's definitely a, um, an interest uh, with our supervisors to do this. And, and I think some, some uh, important bells that we can ring, so to speak. But one of the important pieces here um, and, and I put it in, in an italic because of the, uh, you know, the importance here is our goal is not just to take a position, but to point to a solution. We just become another, we don't want to be, I don't think just another advocacy group, you know, sort of, uh, urging the board of supervisors to do X or Y. We can do that and we absolutely make recommendations, but I think also what we're trying to do here is, uh, take advantage of our breadth of experience on the fact that we also represent the entire uh, Fairfax County, you know, are there some potential solutions we can point to? Can we look at some of the things we know they're going to have to, uh, to to wrestle with and wrestle with them ourselves and see, are there any solutions, uh, you know, or particular pitfalls or whatever that maybe we can, you know, we can help them with. So uh, a, a constructive partner is really what I think we're, we, we'd like to try and be here. Um, to the focus areas, and these really came as, as uh, over a lot of work, a lot of conversations, a lot of presentations, things like that. Um, we tie them to the uh, comprehensive plan uh, with the objectives there. Um, transit oriented development. Um, uh, one commissioner that was there, uh, Commissioner Sitnik is gone. Roger, you're still with us. Still as feisty and fiery as always. That's, that's good to see. Um, urban design standards, uh, making place. Uh, a big priority of a uh, um, uh, deputy county executive, uh, uh, Rachel Flynn, um, road design parameters, complete streets um, and complete network of streets and changing uh, street design from just large boulevards with level of service only to maybe uh, smaller uh, streets that are maybe a little bit narrower designed to slow vehicle traffic, uh, make things a little safer. Um, you know, um, using perhaps alternate measures of effectiveness, um, curbside mar management, parking strategies, um, you know, things like that. Vehicle congestion mitigation. This was really the one that I had been talking about um, uh, with the uh, 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 telework, transportation event management, things like that. Um, many of you who are, those of you who were here at the time recall, but those who want to, I'll say, the next meeting we were going to have that was canceled when the pandemic hit in March of 2020 was on transportation demand management and teleworking. So, you know, obviously that whole situation has transformed over the past, well, you know, three years. Of course, um, one of the goals, one of the mm -hmm. goals was, was the vision zero. That was pretty mm -hmm. clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here in Mason, yep. you know, I, I think every time I look at the Annandale news, somebody gets hit and killed by a car. Mm hmm. I mean, this is talking about, you know. I was well, actually, about that. well, actually, Roger, to pick up on that, uh, um, jumping into the next major topic area, trails, sidewalks, bikeways, uh, one of the focus areas and not the only place it can be because it takes two to have an accident, the vehicle and the, the, the person or, or, uh, uh, or, or thing that gets hit, um, pedestrian and bike safety. It's in yeah. there. We, 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 we've talked about that. We've had presentations on that. Um, safety education programs, um, you know, a walking and biking network, 
Um, we have a number of outreach partners we've uh, we've identified there um, that we've not yet involved in, uh, in in any conversations. Uh, this is the focus area where both commissioners uh, have since uh, uh, left the tag, Commissioner Wessenhoff, Commissioner Glenn. So we could use uh, you know uh, a commission uh, two commissioners preferably you know either to move over from another topic if you've been here before or new commissioners who would like to like to pick up that area um strategies and policies jeremy i really much appreciate you know your sort of keeping an eye on sort of those overarching documents looking for opportunities there the big one is a comprehensive plan and we went so far as you can see in the work plan to identify where in the comprehensive plan these uh, focus areas intersect with so we could start talking about making some some recommendations there. Um, but the Fairfax County Strategic Plan, the Health Plan, the Transportation Priorities Plan, countywide transit network study, which well, might even be done by now. Um, you know, there's a, a number of those activities there, and those are the kind of documents that uh, set policies and set uh, tones for which direction uh, the county is going to go in, and and the boundary conditions expectations. For new activities so you know that's where some of our great ideas should go uh, we might make a recommendation to the board of supervisors to make a particular modification to a document or to a plan um you know some obvious outreach partners there fc dot v dot you know and 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 others of course um we also don't want to forget some other things to sort of at least keep an eye on um and uh, uh you know major legacy investment uh investment infrastructure investments um the 66s uh, the, uh, the, the the hot lanes, the metro and things like that. Um, Kevin had always done a, a very good job making sure we not forget about those kind of things. Kevin graciously agreed to, you know, help look over that, uh, look over that part. Not that he's solely responsible for it, but, you know, again, somebody to help us make sure we don't forget things. Flexible non-POV transportation. Um, you know, uh, th that really was sort of ride shares and things like that. Not surprisingly, uh, our, our then vice chair from the Disability Services Board, you know, seemed to fit her uh, focus area pretty well. And so uh, Mary Pauline agreed to uh, uh, to work to lead that area. And the new transportation technologies, um, our new members will soon learn Eric uh, um, is an engineer. Uh, Eric has a good technical background, so a natural fit to uh, sort of, you know, keep those uh, keep those sort of things in mind. Um, and at the very bottom of the uh, of the work plan, is a menu of outreach partners starting of course with fcdot we work with them the most closely vdot um that we the county fcdot um uh, uh you know work with very closely because uh, you know the uh vdot owns the roads um but you know uh cooperative bodies tra ad advisory groups citizens groups um you know other boards and supervisors and we have one uh, member again here uh you know this evening um you know from the the aging commission or committee on aging so again you know there there's one of those right there um we've met with the supervisors transportation aides we can certainly you know do so again um and so um we have the pieces we need um and to pick up on roger it's you know we do need to start working on some things and it always been my hope that we'd be able to uh, uh work in each of these areas and the topics that we bring to the tac will be things that come out of each of those focus areas. Uh, where are we? What's happening here? What should happen next? You know, where can we the TAC, uh, uh, you know, provide advice perhaps at a staff level? That might be enough for now. Or is it something that merits a, a, a conversation perhaps with uh, board members? We can pass a resolution, we can send letters, and we've done that uh, to, to have our, our views be known. So uh, that's what we presented, you know, last year. And so, um, you know, uh, at this point, uh, none of them are finished. Um, I don't think there's ever an expectation that any of these would finish. But I do think that, uh, um, you know, when we go here again, probably in a couple months, and it may be the way the timing is working out, that our joint meeting might be the same time we present our, our, our next yearly plan. I'm not going to presume anything, but they're starting to come together here because, as I say, we presented last year's plan on March the 1st, which is six weeks uh, in, in six weeks, it'll be one year. So um, uh, I think we need to, you know, keep that in mind and 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 uh, um, you know, pick some areas and start start setting some uh, start trying to make some progress on some things. Quite honestly. So I've laid set the stage a little bit. Um, uh, I'd like to open it up for uh, commissioners to uh, 
uh, open this for a, a discussion. Any comments, observations, things to add? Um, well, when you meet 11 or 12 times a year, you do have some work sessions once in a while. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of hard to do these, this kind of study in one of our meetings. It's kind of the case of where a commissioner or commissioners is going to have to be willing to kind of drill down on something and then bring the product to the tag, where we will go over it with a very, very fine tooth comb. Uh, and out of that, we can distill some direct, but we haven't done that. And I, I'm not exempting myself from that. I'm, there, there are only 24 hours in a day. Uh, but yeah, certain things that, that I'm interested in, uh, I know that Rachel Flynn, uh, she hasn't said, she's a, soupi, a shoe pizza. I know that if you listen to her, She's aware of this stuff that's being done on strong towns. She's read the literature. She's read that poem called The High Cost of Free Parking. And when I listen to her in these meetings, she's biting her tongue uh, because she doesn't want to get fired. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to get fired either. And her salary is a lot higher than mine. Well, I'm not but, getting fired, but she certainly is careful about what she says. Yeah. Yes. And very wisely, she doesn't want to create any enemies where she doesn't need to. She's very diplomatic about trying to lead people down the garden path so that they see things in a different perspective. And we're already doing that. I mean, uh, Kevin himself has said, we've gone beyond the stage where we're just going to keep on widening roads. Ta-da! <laughs> we're not going to, we can't do that anymore. And when I was on this tack back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, all they talked about was how many square cubic yards of concrete they pulled, poured. You know, we can pave this, we can build that, we can do this. That's That was it. And that's why we have these monstrosities out there like the spaghetti ball there at 395 and 495. And that one thing is called the Bob Heitman Overpass. We, it was named for a member of the TAC. You know, concrete, poor, extraordinary. A nice guy, but he said, there isn't anything we can't cure if we pour enough concrete on it. Well, we know darn well we can't do that now. It just isn't going to work. So we've changed. We've changed more than we think we have. Well, yes, and here one of the more uh, um, seasoned members of the TAC is speaking perhaps in the most radical phrases here. It's uh, it's Lenin reincarnated. I'm joking. I shouldn't. Uh, but no, Roger, I uh, hear you loud and clear. And certainly there's no question that we're facing a number of challenges, which also means a number of opportunities. And we've been talking about that for a while. And really the level of involvement of the TAC, of course, is based upon the level of investment of time and resources that individual TAC members can contribute. Um, I think, you know, uh, I, I know I wish I could do more um, and and I'm sure others, you know, share that view, but at the same time too, at least if we can do what we can do. Um, and when we uh, uh, agreed to have two TAC members in each area, there's two big reasons. One is so you're not having to do it all yourself. You got somebody you can talk to and commiserate and, and work with and things like that. And the other is, back to our FOIA rules there, our, our meeting rules, any two TAC members can talk. You get three, you got to have a meeting. So two TAC members can talk and think and can, can uh, you know, assess, um, discuss, you know, discuss what happens next, you know, bring things to the TAC and say, you know, we think we need to talk about this, this, this part of this issue area. That's exactly the kind of thing that we, you know, we'd like to like to be able to do. Um, but it does require some level of investment of time from our individual TAC members. And when they're not able to, and respect everybody's time and, and priorities here, um, we are citizen volunteers. Uh, we're here because we're, uh, uh, because we're busy, because we do a lot, because we're uh, uh, in, involved in a lot of activities. So with that means that there's not a lot of extra bandwidth for anybody to do things. So we're just trying to work within whatever bandwidth there is but to try and do it together. And by having 
focused areas, um, now uh, by breaking things up into pieces, um, you know, your fellow commissioners might be able to do, you know, uh, work on the trails and sidewalks piece. Whew, that's good. I, I, I want to hear what they've got to say. I'll work on whatever the other piece is that I want to work on. And then we bring them together. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we share the load. We share the load. That's, that's the ultimate thing. But we actually have to do a little bit of load sharing. And we haven't done as much as we, I know I, know I wish I could do more um, and would like to be able to do more. And it just depends on how much time and effort we've, we've got. Well, I think to that point, so maybe trying to move us to some sort of action here. I, I think since we've had a turnover in the TAC, um, I think we just need to kind of reassign those different areas, perhaps, you know, and leave it up to the individual TAC members and what they want to take. And I, I'm not committed to the to the area that I was that I had before. If somebody else wants to take that over, there's another area of interest. But I think we need to fill in those gaps that we have today and, and then open it that document for additional recommendations if TAC members want to take on some other topic that we're not that we're not covering. But I think that's how we have to move the this work plan forward. I think you know it's hard to have that discussion here unless folks are willing to sign up for an area. Good point. I agree. Um you know, and I know that uh, um, I uh, do want to uh, reach out to our new uh, individual TAC members, have a chance to talk to you, uh, welcome you uh, appropriately to the TAC. Christy, I know we'll talk and you know, look forward, um, uh, you know, Matt uh, and Felicia, I haven't had a chance to talk to you either yet um, about, uh, you know, your thoughts, your priorities and things like that. Um, you can see where the openings are now. Those are obvious things. But as as uh, Jeremy says, if there's an area that somebody's working on, including me, <laughs> you know that oh that's really an area I care about. Um, you know, absolutely happy to try and try and rearrange and all that um, to try and you know have TAC members work on areas that, that they care about. You know, um, that that are that that fit their interest areas, interest areas, and things they want to do. So, okay. Um, so I tell you what, a an, an, an action for TAC members, if you could, if you do have an area you'd like to work on, please email me and let me know. Um, as I said, I'll reach out to at least the new TAC members. Um, but uh, um, if you uh, want to switch or something like that, again, email me, let me know, and we can have some some all conversations when we get together. Uh, the goal would be when we have our uh, plan uh, next week or uh, next month, sorry, We'll have more. Uh, um, uh, we'll have the the areas assigned. Okay. And maybe Mike, you would um, could help explain kind of what it means to take on that area for okay. the new members. Sure. Sure. Well, um, uh, ultimately, it would be the uh, sort of your decision of where to focus and how deep to get into it. But the idea is um, right now what we have done with these focus areas is we've identified it. We've also identified um, various pieces uh, that are important, uh, things that we believe are uh, factors that should be included when you're trying to figure out sort of what to do. So, um, you know, uh, with transit oriented development, um, we have an opportunity now, we will be talking about alternate measures of effectiveness, but um, how do we how do we do more making place? Uh, what does that mean? Um, and I think that you know, looking at the guiding principles and the way things have been emerging, I'd argue that that is things like Mosaic District um, and uh, 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 you know Reston and uh, um, Tyson's. And, you know, and maybe some work in seven corners and probably other areas that they're trying to, you know, uh, uh, make a destination. Um, OK, and don't forget route one. Which one? That's, route one. Route one. I mean, that's, huh? I think Pete yeah. really had that focus well. And he you know. worked with his supervisor and others. To, and mm -hmm. we drilled down on that two months ago real hard. You know, they got down into the weeds about how many left turn lanes we're going to have. Well, we're going to cut it down from 13 lanes to 10. 
Well, okay. It's better than nothing. Yep. But you yep. try to, and they're going to lower the speed limit to 35 miles an hour on that road. That's going to really change things. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and yeah, Route 1 is, the die is predominantly cast with Route 1, although we were able, uh, there was Commissioner Sitnik and, and Roger, I know you were involved as well too, and others in bring that issue to the TAC. And, and we actually wrote a letter um uh, uh you know expressing some concerns asking for some some consideration and it worked um and there and there there was a slight very slight but there was a slight narrowing of the road in certain areas how much better could we have done so to speak had we started sooner hard to know um you know uh i think if you uh, ask a number of folks you know if you had alternate measures of effectiveness before we start Route 1, maybe it's nine, I, I don't know, <laughs> but it's different. Um, and so I think that's the sort of thing as you dive in the area, um, uh, we need a strategy in each of these areas for how we try and achieve achieve goals. Um, well, that worked, that worked very well. I think the only thing you have to do is you can't be overly concerned you're not going to have revolutionary changes it's sure incremental change and we we got a couple of chips off the old block i mean that place uh route one was right out of the 1950s and it they made some changes to it not big ones but you know i think we should be congratulating ourselves on any changes you can get because the entire mentality that went into doing that was so different than the way it was in 1950 when they laid it out oh absolutely and it's going to look different in 2090 although none, none of us yep. are going to be around to see that well maybe none of us. but <laughs> 90 is a ways from now but who knows could be yes but but I'll, but you know to shift gears slightly and to build on build on that point we did make some progress there but also you know the uh, uh, trails sidewalks bikeways and you know, active Fairfax. We spent a number of meetings over the summer of 2022. In fact, in some cases, you know, two, three meetings in a row, including a work meeting, advising uh, uh, FC DOT on the active transportation plan. Um, and so it's probably time to, you know, revisit that. Um, you know, where are we with active transportation? Um, and so one of the things that uh, we would like, and Jeremy, back directly to your question, what uh, leaders would do is keep up with FC dot of what's happening in the focus area that you've volunteered to uh, uh, to facilitate um, because you know things don't change I'm sorry things change FC dot obviously is not sitting around not doing anything um, they're doing as much as they can and so we'd like to be able to keep up with them there's uh, we can't offer constructive advice if we're four months behind where they where they've been um, and we can't have a meeting uh, talk about every topic, every meeting. So we have to sort of spread out a little bit, find out a little bit more. That's the uh, 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 the rationale behind, um, you know, FC dot uh, giving monthly uh, updates on where things stand on issues that we've talked about before. Um, you know, uh, I mean, Tom last month talked about you know sixty six and the uh, uh, and and uh, um, metro opening, two huge things. Um, I was thinking not not every uh, update's going to be quite that dramatic, <laughs> not that much accomplishment, but just, uh, you know, uh, um, maybe an active Fairfax update or whatever or something has happened to help keep us caught up with what's going on. And so I think that the commissioners really can play a huge role in helping us keep being caught up. And so when is it a good time for the TAC to look at something? Uh, well, that'd be very helpful to know. One of the things that we dug in on last year was, of all things, street lights. Mm -hmm. What a homely subject that is, but it was important. Mm -hmm. uh, that is true. And, and and Kevin drilled down on that. You no. know, why are these streetlights counties and these ones belong to VDOT? We had some people, well, it's this, it's that, it's the other thing. But doggone it, you've got to get those streetlights on. Mm -hmm. And following up, keeping on is important. So, um, so Jeremy, that's, that's, Safety, sorry. equity. Street lights. Yeah. So those are some of the County things there. Got back to me on that, by the way. But. Yeah. Well, 
you know, um, maybe not hurt to follow up, you know, and that's the sort of thing is that I was just about to say, uh, we have the conversations, we have actions, you know, basic things like keeping track of some of the actions. So it's like, oh, what happens next? Because when you're in the meeting, you know what you need to do next. And then after a month or two or three, some other stuff going on, you can forget. Um, we need to remember. I, I, I hate to say it, it's it's some of it's that simple. Uh, uh, Mike, um, on, yeah. on the chat box, and I think Chris, Christy asked, what is the end goals of these com commitments? That's a question that she answered. Uh, we want actual recommendations in the areas for next steps that we can uh, use to advi either advise the Board of Supervisors or confirm that the county is going in the right direction. Um, we are not the sole judges, obviously, but we're here to advise. And so as we look at the direction the, the county is going in, what we see happening in the environment, uh, you know, things that we believe should be perhaps getting more attention than might have historically is what's coming out of, uh, you know, the, the county processes and with the, the outside opportunities, you know, um, are, we, are we moving in the right direction? Or what can we do to shift directions or move in a, uh, or, or accelerate things? Um, uh, things like that. We're trying to make actual recommendations for the for the board. Can, can I add to that? Thank you. Please, please. Yes, being new. So I obviously just, uh, you know, this has been very helpful. Um, the work plan for 2022, have this, has this group created something like that before? Is this the first time to have a work plan? Uh, this is our first time we had a work plan. Uh, yeah, uh, it was. Yes. Okay, so based on what you said in terms of your response to my question, what would be the, the possibility? It's probably, I don't know if that we have enough time, but just in preparation for the meeting with the Board of Supervisors, would we want to try to have a goal to create an end of year report of what was accomplished in terms of that work plan that we could present to the Board of Supervisors as part of that advisory role that we play? Uh, we do have a, uh, an obligation to present a report every year, and that's actually the, uh, the briefing slides that I also attached. Weren't too much last year, um, and whatever we were able to accomplish can go in this year, and I think certainly our work on the uh, uh, active Fairfax and some other things you know, can, you know, can go on that list. Um, so we are um, obligated to provide that already. Um, and I think that uh, we absolutely can, as a minimum, reference it, depending on what the timing is. Um, so in other words, if, you know, I'd like to uh, not say we're going to do something, I'd rather have something about done so that we, you know, have our expectations together there. Um, but uh, um, expectations in our, of, of what we can actually produce. Um, but, uh, you know, we can also take that to the Board of Transportation Committee. And that's who we actually presented the uh, 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 work plan to uh in 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 march of 2021 was to the uh, uh board transportation committee so um not strictly speaking to the board of board of supervisors yes board transportation committee march the first okay no thank you it's just helping connect the dots for me yes no appreciate that appreciate that is it uh time for my blistering descent from your add commissioner <laughs> uh sure it wouldn't be a wouldn't be a meeting without kevin expressing some apprehensions that's okay we want the full picture so i think the esteemed secretary said there's only 24 hours a day and on top of that there's really 12 TAC meetings a year uh, i feel a little bit for our guests if they're still here they might have thought they just uh tuned into a next door chat meeting it's the navel gazing I worry about. We only have 12 meetings. Uh, you know, Christy raised a good point, put a report. But, you know, at the end of the day, when you're, as we all know, and maybe the newer members don't, the BTC meeting, that's our shot. They've got, you know, things that they have to get through. What the TAC did at the end of the day, I, I you know, they're just not going to give a lot of time to that. I, I think our report at the end of the year is, we held meetings on um, these topics. We made these recommendations. You guys did whatever you want with them, but we're proud of what we did. 
but the other and the other thing I want to mention is is that um, you know the more we have the meetings on work plans and and other topics, then we don't get a chance to raise maybe the topics of the individual interests. So, you know, my my focus would be um, if the commissioner has an area of interest and in something they want to have a meeting on, uh, we we put that up. We have space at the end of the meeting to do that, uh, and then the chair and the vice chair, uh, if we had one, uh, you know, get together. I guess with Calvin. And you guys pick the agenda for the next meeting. And, um, you know, I, I would just rely more on that, that there's a, a, enough topics of interest that the commissioners uh, want to put forth. You all know that I have, you know, several. In fact, one was supposed to be up this week, uh, this month on the, uh, the the tolling on I-66 uh, that we weren't able to get um, get that done. But, um, you know, rather than having commissioners worry about where I mean, I think it's it's good if they, uh, you know, of the four areas assign them an area. But, you know, not restrict them to say, you know, at the end of this meeting, here's here's a topic I want to um, I want to have a meeting on. And if they don't have it ready this month, they have that opportunity next month so that, you know, you try at least 11 out of 12 meetings a year to be having a presentation and 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 from that, you know, maybe if, uh, we we pass a recommendation onto the board. So, something you've heard uh, painfully too many times from me, but I thought it bore uh, repeating. Well, sorry, we have heard it, um, and actually, I believe in large measure uh, that's consistent with what we're doing. Uh, Kevin, very much appreciate you've had a number of uh, topic suggestions. Um, and we've done most of them, and the ones that we haven't yet, we probably will, certainly including 66. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get that for uh, for this month. But yes, any commissioner at any time is is welcome to, to, to put a topic out there. That's how we really talked about Route 1 last year, is Commissioner Sitnik brought it up, and we actually got into it fairly, into a lot of detail that night. It wasn't a case of, uh, hey, we're going to have a big Route 1 discussion uh, next month or in a week. It was, you know, we like to talk about it and we got into it and it was a very productive conversation. Um, it was, he talked the talk, he presented it, we we took his recommendation, we forwarded it, and out of it they made some changes. And I don't think any of us can say they should have done more, they should have done less. I mean, they need to, you know, they needed road improvements there. There were pedestrian concerns. And that's how democracy functions. Maybe we didn't, you know, we didn't get it narrowed down as much as some people would like at the intersections. Maybe people want it, you know, 15 lanes at that intersection. But, you know, we did our job and, and I, you know, so I chalked that up as a success. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, absolutely. I agree. I agree. You know, and certainly, um, you know, I hope I haven't been given the impression that uh, we've not been doing things as we have. I mentioned Active Fairfax, Route 1 again, um, you know, and also the uh, Safe Routes to Schools. Um, we, we did some good work there, um, and, and, and that was brought up by a commissioner, um, and we talked about it. And we didn't uh, pass a resolution, but we sent a letter that had the desired effect, and money was included in the budget for Safe Routes to Schools when the grant had expired. So, you know, it, it's, you know, it doesn't have to be a big thing for us to uh, to deal with it. Um, but I think, though, that uh, um, one of the things we used to do uh, and we still need to do to a degree, and, and I sort of capture it in, in partly as legacy investments, you know, legacy uh, transportation things, but things we've project status updates. Um, there will always be a need to sort of keep up on particularly the, the, the big things. But if we're trying to help advise board supervisors to where to go next, um, you know, we can't just get presentations um, or even, uh, uh, you know, from from outside groups about, you know, uh, uh, a topic and 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 be assured we're going to capture something, be able to sort of predict where the puck is going, so we can give those kind of insights to the board supervisors. That's harder because um, uh, it takes some, some focused effort as well as all the other stuff we're doing. But I hope that we can do a little bit 
uh, of that and at least at least try. And I think we have done some of that, and I think we can you know keep trying to do a little bit more. But ultimately, we'll end up doing what we can do based upon again how much time and energy and interest each of the individual commissioners have, and collectively, uh, how much energy and interest we have. I, I guess I I would just leave it that you you always want to endeavor to have a topic, uh, other than how we're going to, uh, you know, prepare our meeting for the the board transportation committee whenever we get to it. There just there are so many topics out there that uh, of value I think to the committee and to the to to us in the county that we, we should always endeavor to have something on the, the agenda. I mean, I've got four or five in my mind right now that you know would make excellent ones. Um, I'll answer that briefly. I do want to do that. We okay. did not have another topic. So commissioners, as we focus on other areas, and, and Kevin, you've done a great job of, of putting those suggestions out there, and I regret we were not able to get the I-66 one tonight. Um, but I will say, though, that um, once I uh, got over my disappointment, and that's okay, you know, understand it was not ready. That's okay. Yeah. But what it forced me, to, what it forced me to think about, though, is you know, we do need to get prepared for the work plan. We do have new commissioners in. Um, I've done. I understand the phrase naval gazing, and we want to be careful we don't do that. That's not what I consider this to be. To me, this is about uh, um, building a team, building agenda deciding how much we want to take on because if we're going to do this as a commission as a team we need to be together with this and so again three new commissioners perfect time to uh, to do this uh, uh i am confident <laughs> unless something happens we'll have i-66 for our february meeting and there'll be other topics as well too and and when we get to that part of the uh, uh, of the meeting there um as you, you know we can throw all kinds of ideas out to begin with and we don't have to stop tonight if you see something that you really want to talk about, whether it's sort of in your focus area or not, we can throw it on there. Um, the more topics we've got to choose from, the more flexibility we've got if something just doesn't work. Um, you know, the the person we want to have come in is not able to. Or what I'd really like to do is there's some topic areas where we bring in some outside groups to have a conversation with them about an eye or a particular interest. Um, have two or three other groups uh, participate with us uh, in an item of uh, of importance, I'd love to be able to do that. And I know we can. I know we can, but you don't do that without doing some preparation. Just to be clear, I'm not upset that we didn't have um, yeah. I-66. The point is, okay, that one wasn't ready, you know, then what's the what's our, our, our next topic and we'll move them up. And we've done that before. So, um, and also, it's getting late in this meeting because we still have to do the executive session, but maybe next meeting, give the the new commissioners, um, you know, a few minutes each to let them speak on what what they're what they would like to see as a topic. Sure. Um, welcome to speak up at any time, but we can do that. Absolutely. And in fact, um, not to downplay that and to uh, sort of uh, temper the expectations, but at the end of each meeting, commissioners can bring up items they want to talk about. Um, and so uh, I agree, Kevin. Uh, we, we want uh, uh, full participation. Absolutely. And membership. Well, <laughs> but yes. I won't go there. Yes. So, okay. Um, well, I tell you what, I think we've probably talked enough about the, uh, the work plan. Um, uh, and so uh, uh, we will talk about a little bit about this uh, uh, next month, um, hopefully with assignment of some some names. Um, but uh, um, you know, uh, it's not the work plan per se. These are the areas that we said were important. <laughs> These are the areas we said are important and worthy of looking at. So we need to be looking at them. Most of the topics we're thinking about probably falls in one of these areas, one way or another. So. You know, I, I I think there's a some similarity there. Now, there might be others outside, in, in which case, if there's some things out there we need to talk about, we can do it. And I'd say, is that something that should be built more into the work plan? Should we spend more time on this? But those are things that we can talk about as we as we go forward. Okay. All right. Um, I tell you what. Before going on to the uh, um, executive session, 
The next item on the agenda actually is public comment period. And the reason I, I'd like to do that is because we have members of the public here. So I think it's appropriate to let them have an opportunity to speak, uh, make some observations on the sausage making they've just witnessed, whatever they'd like to say. Um, and then we will go into executive session. Uh, strictly speaking, you're allowed to come back later if you want to, uh, if you want. Um, but uh, I do want to be respectful of your time. So with that, um, members of the uh, of the public who are with us, um, any comments, uh, observations you'd like to make, or at uh, uh, the floor is yours. Uh, any see who'd like to go first? Anybody? Yeah, hi. This is Mike Carell. Yeah, hey, hey, Mike. I I didn't have anything in mind. Uh, coming tonight to mostly just listen, but um, in thinking about how our Commission on Aging works um, and what they try to do, I, th I think they have one advantage over you, but again, I don't know all of the, what's been going on. The advantage is uh, the county uh, has asked for the county staff with support from the Commission on Aging to develop an updated uh, plan for uh, older adults that they've given the acronym SHAPE. And I can't remember even what the acronym stands for. Basically, it talks about uh, housing, transportation, wellness, um, uh, um, uh, help, helping. Um, uh, um, I'm losing, losing <laughs> thoughts to be really. Um, That's okay. It's not just uh, me. That's good to see. Yeah. Sorry. Help, helping uh, if you're an adult child, helping uh, an older parent, um, that kind of thing. And so part of what was done in that was to uh, the staff uh, funded a company to do a survey of older adults in the area. And so that was a basis for understanding what the needs are and possibly suggesting you know, what um, actions might help address those needs. And uh, there, they're still in that process of putting that plan together. So have you done any kind of, uh, in the recent years, of course, COVID put a stop to a lot of things, but uh, surveying about transportation needs and issues that could help with some of the directions and solutions you might be trying to identify? I, I know there is public outreach, FCDOT does a number of that, when they have particularly projects they're working on, uh, they have public outreach plans and and uh, uh, that's that's almost always a component of every presentation we get um, is sort of a public outreach aspect. Sometimes there's surveys, usually they're more public meetings. Um, also, as I say that, you know, Brent, Calvin, you know, you're here from the county. If there's if there's more to the story, please do, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, speak up. Um, but uh, uh, I know with uh, uh, you know, buses and things like that. There have been surveys and things. So we, we do use it. We've not used it sort of as a tack, uh, but certainly is is something that uh, is, is an, uh, a tool in the, uh, in, in the in the toolbox there that we can use to try and get more information. Uh, but again, Calvin and Brent, if you've got something or anybody else to, to answer that, I'd, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll defer. Um. I um, remember there's something that when we we do the uh, study for like the, the bus planning service, mm -hmm. we send yeah. out a survey and um, and asking people, you know, um, how the changes would affect them and their, their life or their, com their community. Their, their, um, so things like that. And also when as you participate in the um, the changing of, of the road name from the Confederacy Task Force, that we send out a survey asking people for suggestion you know should we change the name of the road and what you know and what the new name would be you know something like that yeah we we done that all the time but as for the attack we haven't have a chance to you know we haven't thought about that yeah i guess or haven't had a chance to like mm -hmm. do a survey you know but i think that's something that that you can um uh work with us what we'll, we'll with tom and see you know what kind of um, mm -hmm. a project that 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 we have uh, you know c coming up, and we can tie that in in the survey. If if, if you know FCDOT is planning to send out one, then we can tie that in and see if it could work for for both of us. Yeah, 
you know, the tech and, and, and FCDOT. Yeah. Okay. I think the tax biggest outreach effort, and I don't know whether this was before your time, Mike, was the mm -hmm. funding outreach that we did. Yeah. Yes, was, yes, yeah. yeah you're right, yeah. That was, that was before I arrived. I think just before, but yeah, and I've been here 10 years. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I will I say, uh, I don't want to take up more of your time, but the you can find online the results of the recent survey of older adults, and you can mm -hmm. tease out some of the transportation related uh, um, results. So, for example, I'll just read one or two just to give you a flavor of the kind of information that they have. Uh, about seven in 10 respondents rated the overall quality of transportation of the transportation system, auto, bike, foot, bus in their communities as excellent or good. Uh, ease of travel by car was considered excellent or good by 80%. Ease of walking, 66%. So that, you know, that's the kind of thing you can get from the survey that the county did for I think they have 50, 55 and older, and a lot of the data is broken out by age group. So anyway, you can have okay. some data but points for you. If you've so, got a link for that, please do. Can you send us a link for that? I, yeah. Who should I send it to? Uh, Calvin, um, Calvin Lamb. Okay. Um, yeah. I Me mean, otherwise. Or, or certainly, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mike, just interrupt. But but the person who's staffing your group will know who Calvin is. So if you're your Fairfax County uh, staff associate for your group. Uh, we'll be able to find Calvin if you can't quite remember how he spells his name or whatever, but okay. uh, appreciate that. Appreciate that very much. Sorry. Okay. That's all. Thanks. Mike, well, thank was you. there just a quick question? Was there any uh, in, in the transportation part of that? Was sidewalks the one that scored the lowest? Was there any other that they felt deficient? Because I, I didn't, <laughs> I don't have <laughs> the answer to that offhand. Uh, but um, they do have it broken down by um, supervisory district, so you, that okay. may give you a clue as to you know maybe stuff you already probably figured out from your expertise in the different districts. But, but there's some data. Okay, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Amanda, are you still with us? Perhaps. If so, any comments you'd like to make? Okay. Um, either she's not with us or doesn't want to say anything, either which is uh, obviously fine. Um, and so with that, I think there's the uh, uh, public outreach, uh, public comment period portion of the meeting. The first time that's actually taken a little bit of time to do. So fantastic there. Um, what I'd like to do is move into executive session. Um, but as we do that, I only have about 12 minutes left on my computer before it reboots. So what I'm planning to do is reboot while we move into executive session. Can we do that without me having to do any of the readings and things like that? Um, pass the virtual gavel, you know, uh, uh, to Kevin or Roger. Now that Roger's here, um, uh, Calvin, what do you what do you think on the process there? Um, let's rethink. See, uh, Jeremy already read that uh, motion, so. So probably just mention it again that he read that motion earlier so okay. we can enter the procession and then then I guess at, at that time we will have to ask my to to lift my uh, uh Perel. Yes. To, yes. To, yes, to permit the uh, the um the meeting. And and my by the way, I think uh um uh, uh the start the is that uh, um, the staffing person that uh, working for for your uh, group? Is, is that Jackie, right? Jackie Woodruff? Is that her name? If that is, just let let her um, let uh, her know that she can. Yeah, she had my email. Yeah, you can send that. Uh, ask her to send that to me. Yeah. Okay. But I, I okay. But if we turn to the meeting. Yeah, I guess after that, then you can. Well, yeah. why don't it, why don't I think it, uh, let's go into executive session if we could. Sure. Um, and so, Mike, thank you so much for participating. Um, uh, uh, have to uh, um, ask you, please take your leave for, for the time being. Once we're done with the executive session, if you want to come back in, you're welcome to. I can't imagine why you would, but you're welcome to if you want. Um, what I'll do then is I'm going to, to leave now. And so um, I won't be voting on the move to executive session, but of course I won't be voting against it. 
and it'll take a couple minutes to do that. And hopefully by the time you're in executive session talking, I'll be able to uh, come back in. So uh, with that, Quick. Jeremy, sorry, go ahead. Mike, Kevin. Mike yeah. you don't have the option where it says restart now and you say, no, I'll do it later. I, I no, I do not. If okay. I did, I would have done that. So okay. Windows will shut down in 10 minutes. So Yeah, mine always gives me the chance to say later. Mine never does. Not at this. Okay. It's always it's always Tuesday nights during the meeting. And most times I'm on my home computer, no problem. Tonight, I'm not. Okay. So, so um, all right. Well, in, in that case, uh, uh, I'll be gone for just a couple minutes. Uh, if we could, uh, uh, Jeremy, lead us into executive session, and then I'll be see you back on the other side. All right. Thanks. So the motion, okay. the mo Jerry made the motion. I'll, I'll, Jerry, Jerome made the motion. I'll second it. Is Roger now chairing the meeting? Are you there, Roger? He's available. I don't see him. Oh, he's still here, but um, he's still here, but we can hear him. So maybe he can be as the longest member. You or Eric can be the, uh, the the chair. Yeah. Well, I ran the script last time. I'll just I'll take it to this point. Okay. And let, that, let, 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 let me stop the recording and then we can do that. Yes. Okay. Okay. So Jerry May has made the motion for executive session. I've seconded it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Are there any uh, Aye. opposed or abstentions? Hearing none, uh, the motion of executive session is approved. Thank you. In accordance with Virginia Code Section 2.2-3712, I move that the Transportation Advisory Commission members certify that, to the best of each member's knowledge, only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting requirements under the Virginia Freedom of Information Act, and only such public matters, business matters, as were identified in the motion by which the closed session was convened were heard, discussed, or considered in closed session. Second. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. We are now out of executive session at uh, 956. OK, uh, on to uh, um, other business um, and announcements there. Um, the 20, the February TAC meeting agenda, uh, we will discuss, hopefully we'll discuss the I-66 project. Um, I'm sure there will be some preparations for the joint meeting with Board of Supervisors, maybe a little bit with the uh, uh, the work plan, but we'll keep that to, uh, to a minimum. So, um, you know, uh, if there are specific suggestions, you know, either talk about them now or certainly send them to uh, Calvin and I for uh, topics that you'd like to see uh, considered for either February 2023 or follow on uh, in the issue areas of the work plan, things you just always wondered about, you know, et cetera. Uh, Kevin, I know we want to go to Dulles. We will. <laughs> um, but, uh, um, you know, uh, with with that, um, uh, unless there's a lot of suggestions for February, uh, what I would suggest is please do send any suggestions you've got, and then we'll uh, look for, uh, 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 you know, look for future topics as we go into the next meeting. So are there any other suggestions for February? Uh, uh, for instance, if we're not able to do the I-66 project? Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say, in case, for, again, we couldn't get them. Uh, yeah. The uh, uh, Metro versus the Metro Safety Commission is a, a hot little topic at the moment if if uh, if we couldn't get i-66 okay i wonder if they'd be willing to come given, but uh, definitely given, uh yeah given you may want a third specific, backup yeah given the exactly. sensitivity of that topic given yeah. the sensitivity of that topic and the fact that it's got a real potential to either go to arbitration or legal resolution i even think asking is um probably going to be insulting to the people involved. Fair, fair enough. Um, let's see here. Um, I know we'd, uh, 
you know, uh, Route 7 BRT, Richmond Highway Safety Speed Study. Um, you know, uh, uh, there are, I think, some uh, um, teleworking activities um, that I need to, uh, you know, try and try and look into. I reached out to uh, um, uh, Dulles Area Transportation Association uh, a few weeks ago, did not hear back. I must have sent to the wrong email or something like that, so I need to follow for that. Um, but uh, um, rather than just sort of fish around for a little while, if you do have suggestions, and, and I think, Calvin, uh, if we can try and figure out if the I, if we can lock down I-66 early, great. Please, let's try and do that, because if we can't, then we got to look around some more. And so yes, we don't want to do I, is, I, yeah, got it. Exactly. I, so if I you could let us one. know if it's not locked in, and then we maybe come forth with plan B. Or exactly. Plan right. B. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Um, I am not going to discuss possible 2023 tech agenda topics because um, we've just been talking about February. We've talked about the work plan. That's enough of that. Um, the FC dot a monthly update. This was an opportunity. Uh, uh, Calvin, Brent, uh, if there's uh, some things we've looked at before that something noteworthy has happened uh, recently, you know, last month or so, last few months, whatever. Um, anything you'd like to uh, um, update us on at this time? Um, Brent, do you have anything? Uh, you you already know that Tom has has announced his retirement. That um, he will um, retire in uh, early May of this year, and until um, his successor will be uh, will be fine, that he will stay until May. And if if they able to fight, um, you know, someone to re replace him before May, then he will step aside to have that person to you know transition in. But until then, we will have time. Uh, um, we don't know much about what you know his future plan is. He had he had not shared that with us, but um, <laughs> I'm sure that he'll be traveling around, uh, biking around, and uh, you know maybe the U.S. Uh. <laughs> he he um, may actually live a life. Radical so, thought that is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. As for us, we just. Submits, uh, I think, that nine application for the CMAC and our STP um, program. Uh, you know, to for the, for federal funding. Um, those are the projects that we have uh, done that before, like um, the Richmond Highway B, uh, BRT, uh, Richmond Highway um, uh, Winding In. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Frontier Drive. Uh, you know, like. Just a, a very big project that uh, we apply uh, almost like every year, whenever uh, you know there green uh, opportunity available. So uh, Brad and I will, I mean our section with uh, doing that, yeah. And I, I'm hoping to to bring more, you know, update uh, to to the tech next next month. But we haven't able to, uh, you know, because of the holidays and everything, yeah. So we don't have much time. You know, news to say, but Brent, uh, you have everything else, Brent. Uh, the only other thing I, I would mention is we're uh, on the Richmond Highway BRT project. <clears throat> we're preparing a, a raise grant application, which is a discretionary grant program. Um, used to be Tiger back in the day, and so um, that's probably the the most major grant program that we're pursuing at the moment. The, the CMAC RSTP funds that Calvin just mentioned are actually formula dollars that are distributed through the state. Uh, and so we're kind of guaranteed, not guaranteed, but we can sort of guess that we're going to get about 30 million per year for those for those projects um, that are supported by those funds. CMAC stands for? Congestion Mitigation Air Quality. Got it. So they're all federal dollars, but they're distributed by formula through the state. All good dollars. Yep. Sure. Work. 30 million a year is a good amount of money. Yeah, give or take, but that's somewhere <laughs> in that ballpark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 29 and a half, 30.3. Yeah, uh, it's close. 800,000 <laughs> apart. <laughs> yep. So, okay. Uh, no, appreciate that. Appreciate that update. That's very helpful. Um, Anything else? 
Brent, Calvin, just want to, before we no go other, on? No other major developments okay. that, yeah. Okay. You know, I, I, I think we'll, we'll sort of find a rhythm as we go forward as we get dive into things and keep up with things and stuff like that. So, um, but this is, this is good. Appreciate the, uh, the start here and, and uh, getting in the swing of, uh, of this kind of thing. So appreciate your, uh, 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 as I said, giving us the updates. Um, Brent, you want to give me any uh, heads up when I put my bet down on FanDuel for who the, the new uh, replacement will be for Tom? Do you, do you have somebody in mind? I don't. I just, but okay. I can't help. Okay. You know, anything's out on FanDuel, so why not put that out there, right? Oh, okay. I was going to say because you know you have to if you're going to bet on something, you got to have somebody to bet on, but or against. But uh, uh, but That's if you're betting on the process, yeah, okay, that might be. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. So um, no. Uh, now to the uh, uh, cheers report, commissions updates. Just be very brief. We uh, 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 no um, uh, specific updates, although I will say actually. Um, uh, we had talked about having a, a, a social event um, and we're doing it in the Mosaic District. Um, I think the uh, uh, Park DeVille might be a good location for us to do this. Um, and so uh, what I'll do is look for a, 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 a time and, and we can do this uh, through, uh, um, through Calvin there um, to uh, uh, express preferences for times and things like that. I'm thinking a Thursday evening sometime somewhere um, you know, not associated with the meeting, uh, so we don't do any quorums or that other kind of thing, and recognize that it's, it's obviously a voluntary activity. So if you're interested, uh, fantastic. Uh, we can't talk work, uh, we can't talk tax stuff, um, so we'll have to, like, talk real topics and get to know each other a little bit, so, um, and we'll all be able to see if Kevin comes to see how much he can drink, so. Uh, On somebody else's tab, preferably. Well, once or twice, yes, but uh, but uh, I don't think we can float you all night long. But that's it. You know, although I don't know, we'll see. You know, um, now, it's our turn to replace uh, Pete and and you. I think you were the two winners last year, right? You and Pete. Uh, I remember helping out at least once, but then after that, yeah. I lose track. So, but uh, happy to. <laughs> Bully up again uh, there a little bit as well too. So um, we'll uh, we'll we'll rate, put that out there as an opportunity and see if there's a, a good time to do that here. Um, and the other thing I'll just uh, uh, mention is we uh, uh, you know talked about uh, replacing missing missing commissioners uh, you know from the work plan yes, but also as Kevin did point out uh, we are down one vice chair. So uh, if anybody's interested in becoming the vice chair. Um, finding out more about the vice chair, just just give me a call. Happy to talk about it. Uh, or you interested in putting your hand in the ring, or whatever the case may be, happy to chat. So uh, just just let me know if there's a, an interest there. At some point, we need to pick somebody, um, you know. But uh, we can wait a little bit. Um, but uh, I think that's uh, uh, it'd be nice to work on that in the next meeting, if not soon thereafter, because you know we got to come up with somebody at some point. So with that. Um, that's all I have, and what I'll do is uh, call in the commissioners in the order in which we went through the roll call. I know some are gone already, but we'll see who's, as Kevin says, see who's still here. Um, at large, Linda Sperling uh, with us, perhaps putting the kids to bed. I think probably putting kids to bed. Um, Kevin, anything you'd like to add, sir? Um, one thing, and I may be uh, stealing either uh, Matt's thunder or Eric's, but Eric can tell me... Uh... Nobody would know the map like he would, but I just wanted to uh, note the uh, construction of a uh, good-sized pedestrian bridge is in process over Old Keen Mill at Springfield Plaza. Is that in your district, Eric, or is that for Anconia? I'd have to look. Oh, I didn't think I, I think could it's stop Eric. So what was I think it's mine, um, but I'd have to look because I think it's near the edge. I get confused because for West Springfield Police Department, that's actually the Franconia district, I think. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you, I get it all confused because I used to have the Little League maps memorized. And as opposed to the, the magisterial districts. Um, so I spent a lot more time on Little League. Um, and it burns in your memory better because there's nothing like getting hit by a 13-year-old who can throw an 80-mile-an-hour fastball. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen to that. Yeah, that's right. That's but it's right. just to finish, it's uh it's the bridge from a, a pedestrian bridge that connect 
Springfield Plaza with the new parking garage that they're building on the other side of the, uh, uh, it's a new transit center at, at, on the other side of Keene Mill at Springfield Plaza. Okay, I'll look it up. That's all I've got. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it very much. Um, Felicia, um, anything you'd like to add? Um, I don't. <laughs> no, I'm good. I don't have any uh, updates to add. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks again for your participation, both being here in general and 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 speaking up. We 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 appreciate it very much. Um, Mason District, Roger Hoskin. Anything new? Sir? No, nothing new, and I've spoken up enough tonight. So you're not putting your hat in the ring for Penny Seat yet. No, we've got uh, a number of people who are, and I think this is. We're going to probably have a very interesting primary. All right. Uh, uh, this is uh, because I think in in Mason District the election will be the primary. It's blue. about as blue as you can get. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. Uh, but we'll see. We've got some some interesting people, at least three people, and maybe more. So I think we're going to have a busy primary, which sets you up for some surprises since the first past the post system. Um, mm. Okay, well, we will stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Roger. I appreciate it. Um, Franconi District. Matt, anything to add, sir, if you're still with us? Okay. We wore him down. Uh, took a little while, but we finally did it. Um, yep. Providence, Jeremy, sir, anything more uh, to add to the mix? Not me. Thanks. Thanks for participating, and particularly from from uh, from out of town. Uh, uh, appreciate you taking the time, and and good work again with the committee, you and Christy and and Roger again. Are you, um, are you safe out there, Jeremy? Are you uh, any danger of being washed out? No, I think it's I'm on southern part of the state. I haven't paid too much attention to it. I think it's northern, but no issues here. Hopefully, it uh, pretends well to my travel tomorrow. All right. Well, safe return. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, Springfield, Eric Thiel, anything to add, sir? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Springfield District. It's almost finished. To answer Thanks. questions, Kevin's question. All right. No, I don't have anything to add. All right. Appreciate it very much. Um, Fairfax Area Disability Services Board. Christy, anything uh, you'd like to uh, add? No, nope, all good. Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, well, with that, uh, I think the only thing left to do is to entertain a motion to adjourn. Um, is anybody interested in making such a motion? Don't I'll move. Talk. All right. Um, I'll, I'll second so, it. Okay. There's a motion on the floor moved and seconded to adjourn the meeting. Um, is there any discussion on the motion? Like, if I could just add, I, I, I hope the chair is not in Michigan waiting for the Alliance playoff appearance because they, they just missed it. Yes, well, uh, apparently the Seahawks Lions game, I'm oh, sorry, Seahawks Rams game was the worst officiated of the entire year. Um, and that wasn't us saying it, that was apparently the league competition there. Um, and so, had uh, any number of those calls gone the right way, we'd have been in the playoffs. We probably would have got steamrolled by the 49ers anyway, but but anyway. That's, and we we had our chance with Carolina, so we we made our bed and we'll we'll sit in it. But uh, hey, next year's looking good, very good. Next year's looking good, absolutely. So with that, um, all those in favor of the motion to adjourn, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. There aren't any. Good. <laughs> good. Uh, with that, uh, any abstentions? All right. Uh, in that case, the motion passes unanimously. We are adjourned at 10.13 p.m. Thanks very much for your participation, everyone. Look forward to talking again soon.